What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. The much anticipated update for Blender is finally here. We now have the official Blender 3.3 LTS release. And guess what? It comes packed with a bunch of cool new features. Now there are a ton of improvements that will make creating in Blender a whole lot easier, faster, and fun thanks to the awesome developers and their hard work. So today we're gonna be diving into the best of the best new Blender features so that you know what to expect and can make an informed decision if this update is even worth it for you. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. So at first glance, the new Blender looks pretty similar to the last release, except we have a bunch of cool features. And the first one I wanna show you guys is the new and improved hair grooming system. This new hair grooming system improves the flexibility when working with hair. To use the brand new hair grooming system, all you have to do is click on the model that you wanna add hair to, and then create a brand new curve and go down to empty hair, which is a new object that is released in 3.3. This one actually utilizes curves to create hair particles. And when you go over over to the sculpt mode, you're gonna see these new set of options right here on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just increase the radius, click add, and all of a sudden, as I start clicking onto this, you're gonna see new hair particles getting generated. They're gonna look a little bit off at first, and so you wanna go over to our render properties, change the curves from strip to strand, and instantly you can see that these are resembling more of a hair. Now, the really cool feature is that these are super customizable, so if I wanna grow and shrink certain sections of it, I can can just click and drag and you can see all these hair particles getting generated and then we can even use tools like comb and really stylize the beard till we get shapes that we really enjoy another cool feature of this is that the hair system actually works with geometry nodes so there's a lot of flexibility and really cool effects that you can make with this new system i definitely see the new hair system in blender really paving the way for awesome updates and improvements to how we handle hair in our 3d scenes just look at how awesome this demo scene looks with all the different variations from the eyelashes to the eyebrows to the mustache and the beard this just looks super super sick and i'm really excited to see where the next updates are going to take it the next really awesome feature is procedural uv unwrapping in blender now this isn't something that i do too often however whenever you create a procedural object you're actually going to probably want to also be able to procedurally unwrap this and that's why the developers worked really hard to pump in these new features which is a uv unwrap and a packed uv node which allows us to have that additional flexibility to adjust our uv maps right there with geometry nodes i'm super excited about this because i can see this making it possible to texture objects more accurately and with greater control especially for procedurally generated objects like rocks. The next new feature that I'm really excited about that the developers have pumped into this 3.3 release is the addition of new pathfinding nodes. The new nodes that they introduce can be really useful for creating all sorts of interesting effects like these impossible mazes, which are procedurally generated. So this is honestly super insane to imagine. We can generate an infinite amount of possibilities and mazes using this tool. In a more practical sense, we can also use this to create all sorts of awesome looking effects for our renders such as lightning effects or even using these path nodes on models to create some interesting electricity flowing through them super super cool and i really like that it provides a new level of flexibility when working with paths and edges in blender the pathfinding nodes are not the only thing that they've introduced in 3.3 because they've also gone ahead and introduced a volume cube primitive node a points primitive mesh the volume instance scale and instance roots interpolate domain as well as a new option for the mesh boolean node which adds in an intersecting edges output these are really cool new nodes and effects that i think are going to be really useful for creating some really abstract and interesting looking renders aside from adding in additional features to blender overall blender has gotten almost three to ten times performance increase for various nodes so that means that you could be working on some of the same projects that you have before and all of a sudden see that things are just running a lot more smoother and i really love that they've introduced Intel and AMD GPU support for cycles, which allows even more people to get to use one of the best render engines that I've seen to date. For those who use Grease Pencil, the Blender developers have not slept on you either because they have introduced a new line art modifier that can calculate accurate cast shadows and light shadows, as well as generate a separation line. The developers did not stop there either because they've also introduced multi-threading, which will improve the speed of line art objects by an insane amount. If you take a look 
look at the comparison between Blender 3.2 and Blender 3.3, it is just amazing because it is almost three times as fast as it was in the past. In addition to UI improvements for the Blender Grease Pencil, they've also added in a new library override UI, which looks so much better. Here is the comparison between 3.2 and then here it is in 3.3, which has all the overridden properties in the hierarchy and actually uses their icons and labels, which just makes this look so much cleaner and easier to use. Now for the VFX artists that are using Blender, the feature that I'm honestly the most excited about is the new image plane marker. Now we've seen previews of this in the past and I've been super excited ever since seeing potential possibilities, which lets you just add in track points to your footage and then you can actually unwrap textures, import it into another software if you'd like, make all sorts of edits and then reproject that back into the same footage. So I can imagine this being used to either rip textures from footage or being able to change different billboards or signage. And in this case, the example they have being able to change different wall textures as well. This is honestly super impressive. And I like that they've added in this feature. So those were the most impressive new features and updates to Blender 3.3. However, it does not stop there. There's honestly a huge, huge release list of changes. And I think that overall Blender 3.3 is gonna be worth it to download and migrate over from the previous versions that they've had. I'm excited to see where artists are gonna be using this new blender and what sorts of things they're gonna come up with. If you guys are interested in seeing some really awesome techniques coming out from the community of blender creators, I guarantee you're gonna to wanna to check out this video. It has so many super awesome renders and creators that are just pushing blender to its limits. And as always, I hope to catch you on the next one.